Hi loves, I'm Kishara and welcome back to my channel, Kishara Creates. Today, I am so excited to share with you guys my journey in creating a mural that I did for a local elementary school. They commissioned me to create the seventh habit tree for their Leadership in Me program. So I took the reference of the um, seventh habit tree and made it my own and made a beautiful, beautiful mural for them. So I wanted to share day by day documentation with you guys so you can come along the journey as I create this beautiful piece of art to help uplift and inspire all of the children in that wonderful school. It's day one and I'm excited to get started. Here is what we'll be creating. This is the reference of the seventh habit tree. This is my area and my materials to create. First, we gotta sketch out this beautiful tree with some chalk. So I'm gonna use brown chalk for the tree trunk. I'm gonna use green chalk for the grass area and for the foliage or the silhouette of the leaves of the tree. And I'm going to use a yellow to lay out the silhouette of the roots. Then I'm going to start painting in my tree, mostly focusing on shadows so that we can start the process of layering all the colors, give us a good solid foundation so that we could bring this beautiful seventh habit tree to life. And here I am again on day two. And as you can see, I already got it started by adding some more definition to the leaves of the tree. I did that with the dark green and just sketched out the silhouette of some leaves. I added some of that dark green down at the bottom to the grass area to make it look more realistic and to start the layering process. Then I'm going to go back over top of the tree and add some different variations or different shades of green until I fill in all of the tree. I'm going to do that same th thing at the bottom with the grass, just to give some more layers, make it look more realistic. And that's pretty much it for day two. Day three, I'm back and I went back in between the branches of the tree with a really, really dark brown to add some more shadows. So it gives it more of a three-dimensional look then I'm going to deepen up the areas that are overhanging over top of the tree also. So instead of doing a dark brown, I did that with black just so that you could really see the contrast against the tones. Then I'm going to take some more green and put some of those beautiful leaves over top of those black areas that I just did. Then I'm going to Start adding dimension down at the bottom, at the roots, adding some darker browns to those areas as well. And next we're going to focus on the tree trunk for day four. So I got started with the tree trunk. So as you can see, it was a really nice solid rich brown. I'm going in and adding some different layers of some lighter browns and a little bit of a reddish tone so that I will have a beautiful foundation to lay out some shadows and some highlights to make the tree look more realistic. And we're gonna do that same thing with the roots as well. So whatever I do to the tree trunk, I just automatically go down and do to the roots as well, so it was all uniform. And then I started with adding some highlights to the leaves with white. Then I added some highlights around the tree with white on the trunk and in the grass and then in the leaves. And now we're going to start adding some shadows with some black. I started by going around the tree and then blending it in to give it a textured effect. And I just want to continue to do that until the whole tree is outlined in black and some shadows are added. Now I'm back for day five, gonna finish off the shadows for the tree going to do the same thing with the leaves so all the leaves have some touch of black shadow to them as well then I'm going to go down and do the same thing for the grass make sure that there's a lot of texture and shadow all around this beautiful mural 
and then of course after I add some shadow and some dimension to the grass I have to do the same thing with the roots we cannot neglect the roots now we get to start with the sky so I started with the sky um, darker and then fading into white or fading into a really pale blue down at the bottom I put the paint down first blend it a little bit with my paintbrush and then use a sponge to add texture and to help blend out the transitions in between the different shades of blue and now we are back for day six so I'm going to give some more love and attention to the sky we're going to do another layer until it looks nice and beautiful just like this how lovely is that I love how that blue complements the wonderful tree this mural looks so good I'm so proud of myself so the next thing that we need to do is add the seven habits to the tree so I made these stencils with poster board I wrote the habits on them just to make sure that each one of these areas was large enough to display each one of the habits I outlined it with chalk and then I painted around it in white so all of them are painted in white and they're going to have each of the seven habits inside of them I'm loving 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 how this looks so we are back for day seven and for day eight so for seven and eight I'm mainly just focusing on writing the seven habits so I took some more chalk and wrote out the seven habits in each one of the frames for the tree or for the mural and then I painted over top of all of those with white just to make sure all the wording is nice and crisp and beautiful then I went around the black again and touched it up so day nine I'm just finishing up I went around the black inside all of the frames touched it up made sure all of the wording the letters looked really nice and crisp and then I put a beautiful top coat on top of it so that it will stay nice and secure and now it is finished it is complete look how beautiful it is I am so proud of myself this was such a fun project I had so much fun and it means so much to me knowing that this is going to be here to inspire the children to utilize these beautiful seven habits to become successful in every area of their life. I was so grateful to have the opportunity to create this mural for this beautiful elementary school. It was such an honor and I cannot wait to do more murals in the future. I will see you guys soon.